Like this one's not even kissing his lip. <laughs> this is cute. Always a duck. I don't know, but that one has something in its mouth. Oh, maybe it's eating the duck. What I read is the benefit to artists is that you can just use it without worrying about copyright. The AI stuff right now will cause a lot of confidence in wrong things. Hello, hi everybody. So today's setup is a little bit different. Today I'm here with Teddy. Hello. Oh, so we're going with Medea. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that, I guess. That's fine. <laughs> okay. So why are you here today? <laughs> well, you asked me to um, look at AI with you and I'm interested in AI. Yeah. Mm, and to befriend the machines before they take over. Yeah. So they know I'm a friend. Right. And also just, you know, as what I read was, you know, the future is not that AI will take our jobs. It's the people who know how to use AI are the ones who will take over. So I am learning how to integrate AI more into how I work. Yeah. Okay. So same, me too. Um, it's, it's something that it's a tool that's available to us. And if we figure out how to use it, definitely, maybe it can enhance our practice. And so we're going to be trying out the artist AI today. You've played around with AI art programs in oh, the yeah. past. You, the, Dali E is not your first yeah. rodeo. Yeah, yeah. And in fact, it's what got me more into AI, just trying to program AI to do art, uh, style yeah, transfer. Right. And we played around with that. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. Okay, so the, the results were relatively, they weren't like amazing or anything. They were a lot like any program where you say, hey, turn my portrait, my, the picture of myself into like a portrait with a sketchy style or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like it didn't seem much more than that. Yeah. Whereas Dolly E, uh, it seems like it's going to be a lot more complex, so we'll have mm -hmm. to see. I want to use Dolly 2 to create things that I'm imagining but like can't picture in my head because I don't have a great visual memory. So I want to create things and then I'm going to paint it or draw it, whatever. My main reason is I want to do more surrealist work. Dolly E2, open AI, available without wait lists. Okay, sign up. All right, come up with some. Some of these works are really beautiful. Um, I saw a goldfish down here. Okay, so let's say mermaid kissing goldfish. I'm just being random here. I don't actually want to do any of these things. Mermaid kissing goldfish in goldfish bowl in the style of Georgia O. Heath. You know, she was the first artist I ever learned about. I picked her because she was a girl. She was fifth grade, my fifth grade class. Oh, yeah, I could do better. <laughs> I don't think they know who Georgia O'Keeffe is. I don't think so. Here, you tell me. I mean, kind of, kind of. Okay, yeah. The work that I'm thinking of is more of her softer stuff, like that. Okay, let's just, let's get rid of George O'Keefe. <laughs> let's just have a mermaid kiss me. I thought I would th see things and be like, I wanna copy it exactly. Wow, this is not that good. But maybe your description needs to be better. What are you what? looking for? Um, okay, realistic. But I said in goldfish bowl, maybe I need to say inside. Well, both of them in the... Yeah, I want them both. Okay. They're out of the goldfish bowl. Okay, I like this. Okay, that's cool. Like that gives me like an image to work the with. Goldfish can't breathe. And then the yeah, that's true. Maybe he just jumped out. Wow, this isn't as useful as I thought. Like yeah, I could. Descriptions are not good. I could have come up with this. Put a better description. <laughs> it looks like this request might not call up. For the content. Why? Mommy kissing goldfish. Inside goldfish bowl. Inside a goldfish bowl. Why don't? Why can't the mermaid? In a goldfish bowl. Mermaid and goldfish kissing in a goldfish bowl in the trailer. I did, that's what it was. 
It was in a gold. In oh, I didn't. In a gold. I didn't write in a. Uh, so you think the word order matters? No, I just think that English is not that great. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's not. sad that it's my only real language. Okay. Mermaid and goldfish kissing, kissing in a goldfish bowl. Realistic. Okay, let's take out realistic. Now there are two girls kissing in a bowl. Hmm. Huh. So it's kind of weird. It looks like the same thing, it's just in a different style. Yeah, but like the style like the isn't realistic. So how are people coming up with these really amazing images? But I was hoping like, it would... Right in 3D and see. In 3D? I was hoping for like an... Like I would hope, I was hoping it would look like a picture. Mm. It looks like your request may not follow. So, huh. No, let's look at what other people have done. And okay, so like, look, that's what I was talking about, where the lighting is realistic. So what did they? So if I click on it, what did they search? Click to try. 3D render of a cute tropical fish and an aquarium on a dark blue background digital art. Cute tropical fish. Okay, so it's cute. In an aquarium on a dark blue background digital art. Okay. Try this example. Okay, so 3D render, I'm gonna assume is what I'm gonna wanna put in because a bowl of soup that's also a portal to another dimension, digital art. That's mm. cool. I love that. It doesn't so look like soup. It's in digital art. But it's it looks like. digital art? Okay. An expressive oil painting. Oh, okay, expressive oil paint of a basketball player dunking, depict as an explosion of a nebula, okay. A photo of a teddy bear on a skateboard in Times Square. Wow. Okay, so if I say a photo. A futuristic cyborg poster hanging in a neon lit subway station. All right. Describe the lighting to improve aesthetics. Okay. Ask for images in the style of your favorite artist. I tried. It didn't work out. So do you think it's stuck? A cyberpunk illustration of the San Francisco Golden Gate. And it's oh. high quality images, so probably the 3D mm. that take time to render. Oh, okay. That is ugly. <laughs> cute. <laughs> this is cute? First of all, this isn't even like the original. None of these are cute. They all scare me. They all look distressed. They are 3D and there is the lighting. So... As long as I learn how to do facial expressions and I mean, tweak cute it. Cute might be. Relative. relative? <laughs> I mean, all of their eyes are large. So AI apparently thinks cute means big eyes. Small mouths, big eyes, big heads. Okay, help me. Help me come up with something. Are you still gonna try the 3D render of the mermaid in a book? Oh, okay, yeah. Mermaid kissing a goldfish in an aquarium. Because they made goldfish bowl anyways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when they heard aquarium, they're like, goldfish bowl. Mm, okay, I mean, I feel like I could work with that one maybe, but like, why? Wow. This right, is... Both in an aquarium. <laughs> both? They're both in there. Why are we so against them being in the, like, why that? Like, that's a, that was like a bubble. Casino goldfish, both, both in an aquarium. <laughs> At least it didn't tell me that I did something bad. It's like, we, this is against our policy. I don't know why they should say why. No. I guess they could be in an aquarium. Oh yeah, yeah I mean. The last one definitely got it. Yeah. So they're both like in the same space. Yeah. It's so interesting though. The mermaid is wrinkled. I mean, she has on pants. So how are they rendering these images? All these mermaids have legs. <laughs> Except for one. And that one has no legs. Okay. Jenny to be cute. Do I want it to be cute? No, I don't think what, what Dali E thinks is cute and what I think are cute are not the same thing. Yeah, there's no aquarium. Wow, look at that last one. Yeah, is she naked? Wow. <laughs> They're wow. like making out. <laughs> this one I like, like the expression. I like the perspective. So like that would be cool. But they should have shown her tail. Right. 
So this isn't really like that much better than like the, the image that I'm getting is such low quality that it wouldn't even be useful necessarily for me. And Dali is supposed to be the best. So maybe it's just what you're asking. I right, say okay. say in the style of photo. Uh, who do you like? Who's that? Well let's try the clock. Let's try photo. Dolly. <laughs> The yeah. melting clock says yeah. Dolly. Oh, it's Dolly? Yeah. Okay, so in the style of Dolly? Yeah. But it's spelled differently. Oh, okay, wait, that's actually useful. The lighting. I don't know about the lighting. Do you think she has blood on her hands? Is that my imagination? I don't know. Huh. Yeah, AI is going to have to work a little bit harder to take over this whole artist it's thing. Very interesting. Yeah. And they really just spliced photos together. Harsh. And kiss and then it brought the things together, you know. Yeah, and you know what else what it thinks of as a mermaid is typically a red-headed white woman and occasionally blonde. Oh, and she just looks cut. like a chick. She doesn't look like a mermaid. None of them are like tinted green. I like the way this goldfish looks though. Oh. I'm sorry, what were you gonna say? A mermaid's normally that. Mermaids are not real, Teddy. Yeah, I know, but you know, <laughs> the depictions everywhere are of that, right? I don't know, actually. So I say merman then. <laughs> merman? Mer merman kissing. Merman <laughs> kissing a goldfish. Oh, let's see what happens. We could, we, let's see if we can specify um, race. Okay, I love that one. I mean, that's like that is what I was hoping for, like the quality. Yeah, you know, the, this is interesting. I think it's put sliced together. Yeah. Like, it looks like men. Like this one's not even kissing his like, lips. That guy might have been drinking beer, and they just put a goldfish instead yeah. of the beer. And then they this, put something this is the only one. Like that's good. Okay, so what can I do to save it? And then I love the way the goldfish looks on this one. Like the. <laughs> the way <laughs> he looks is bad. <laughs> What's going on in that? Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's not even on his lips. It's like eating his nose. Like he doesn't have a face. The AI doesn't know. The guy has a fish mouth. You know that saying if you if you test a fish on how good it climbs a tree, then it will always fail. You might be testing this yeah. scenarios that are not. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, and I'm learning what is exactly as in my mind I'm thinking. I'm thinking of photos. I want photos that I can... Oh, this is just frightening. Oh, wow. It doesn't get better. It looks like he's going to eat it right there. It looks like he wants to eat it. His face is... He doesn't have... His face looks distorted there. It's not the same guy in each one. It's not? I, don't, I mean, there he looks like... Rhett from Rhett and Link. Oh, why don't you get a photo and upload? Because you can do that. That's oh, interesting. really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's play a little bit more before. <laughs> so it's like Dali. Dali. Dali? Okay, what do you want so me to like write? the style of Dali. Does he have another name? Is it just Dali? Salvador Dali? Oh, uh, Salvador. Salvador. Sorry. Mm. Let's look him up. Salvador mm. Dali. Yeah, I spelled it right. Um, what do you want to see? Do you want a photo? Um, we don't see you hanging out on the wall. A bright summer day on the beach with some wooden boats and... That does not sound like something Dolly would do. He would be weird. Um, beach with bright colored boats. And then you gotta add something odd. I mean, yeah. well, let's see if they add something they odd. Let's just see if they're like, oh, well, Dolly wouldn't just have this. This is a, a photo, right? These are all photos. Yeah, this is interesting. It's not Dali style, is it? Yeah, this is a strange thing. Say. Yeah, I did again. I think I need to see more water. <laughs> okay. On on the on the beach. I didn't realize it was gonna give us photos automatically. Mm, okay. All right. So now that looks more. This you want closer. this in your house? No. I really don't like it. No. Uh, I'm looking, I, looking for African painting, so let's try African painting. An elephant, which is oil in a boutique. 
because batik is a is a certain style. Southeast one. Yeah, and take out the oil painting because I don't know that they use oil painting. I think they use acrylic nowadays. I think this will be should be pretty easy because there's probably a bunch of my online. My trust in this has gone way down. It's so what I what I really wanted was like composition. Yeah, because there's a bunch of these online, so it can do it. You know, mm -hmm. it's easy. But do you see how it's like cropped in? Like why? Why crop in so much? It's always like, and it's off center. So so, the whole composition thing. What's an American animal? A bear. A bear. Okay, a bear in the Sahara. Okay. And uh, with Mount so Kilimanjaro in the Sahara. background. Uh, let's put two animals. Maybe uh, a bear and uh, what else is not. Is what do you want them to be doing? Animal. Laying down oh, next oh, to each oh. other. What color bear? A brown bear. Grizzly, Heather. Grizzly bear. Grizzlies are cool. Oh, yeah, um, are they? <laughs> and um. Laying down oh, next oh, to each other. Oh, oh. A duck. No. Well, that would be interesting. <laughs> in the Sahara. <laughs> in that, okay, not, right. in, not in the Sahara. In okay. the savanna. In the savanna. Oh, actually, this is interesting. In Sahara, Sahara with Mount Kilimanjaro in the background. That's interesting. A duck, like they're just gonna be hanging there. Like you have to be more specific. Hugging a duck, eating a duck. Um, let's just see what it does. And okay. mm -hmm. Kilimanjaro spelled it wrong. Oh, I wonder what it'll do. Hmm. That's not a bear. It doesn't know what to do. That's creepy. <laughs> that's that's how we get Sasquatch. <laughs> That's interesting. It is, but it's not good. First off, I think it understood Mount Kilimanjaro, right? Okay, That's yeah, it, right? Yeah. Okay. Second of all, is that the Sahara? I think they cut and pasted the Sahara onto an image of Mount Kilimanjaro. <laughs> and I feel that I could do these things Grizzly on my bear own. With duck. Where's the duck? I don't know, but that one has something in its mouth. Oh, maybe it's eating the duck. Like they're just if there's no grizzly bear. Like grizzly bear this isn't with a duck. grizzly bear. All of these are are uh, like that looks like a gorilla. That looks like a white hog. And this one looks like a cougar or something. Uh, maybe like a lion. I don't know. There aren't cougars in Africa, right? Okay, so maybe it's an American based system. So let's <laughs> go back. <laughs> it's, we heard its brain. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't put the Sahara. Okay, so we and Mount Kilimanjaro. Okay, yeah. what's a nice big mountain? <laughs> a grizzly bear with a duck. Um, oh, Mount Rainier. Mount Rainier. Yeah. My faith in this is just going maybe, lower maybe and lower. Grizzly bear playing with a duck. Maybe <laughs> what? If a grizzly bear and a duck are together. It's eating it. Okay, they did a better job. But is that a grizzly bear? I that don't looks like know. a giant, like a. Giant guinea pig. But it's a better job. Yeah, I would I would agree. It's improved. So I think you're ah, right. Look at the context. I mean, and this is actually pretty. Like I wouldn't have thought to do a close up of the mountain like this. And this this is actually useful. Look, it's got a little pond. The grizzly bird is just hanging out. The duck isn't there. Wow. Dead. So yeah, it must have some context. Like but that. it it's doesn't supporting... look. It doesn't look real. The grizzly bear's face looks odd, in all the photos. The the, 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 the the photos aren't very detailed, right? Like there's a lot of missing that's information. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> bird. It understood bird. That I think is a duck. It's not Where big enough. Like Grizzlies look cool. Why do you see brown bear? I don't know. Or red bear. I don't okay. Know. Well, why don't we pick an animal we know? A panda is very distinctive. I love the Mount Rainier in the background. This is giving me ideas. And uh, see, this is helping me understand how I would make my landscape look. Panda with a porcupine. Mm -hmm. Instead of putting background next time, let's just put in Mount Rainier and let's see. Maybe in Mount Rainier? In, they'll put them in snow and stuff. Oh. <laughs> I am very and is that a crown? What is that? What? This is the best? Wow. This is the best? me i don't understand what's happening i think that's an eagle and a snake i think i could do a better job of meshing these animals 
this one, this Mount Rainier being in the background, that looks kind of cool. But I, I don't know what it thinks that we are saying. That's like a turtle that doesn't exist. They're inventing animals. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like what I kind of wanted to do. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> but it scares me. I don't think I want to. I don't really want to invent animals, to be honest. I think they're fine as they are. Oh, yeah. So maybe let's not do animals and let's just do landscapes. Oh, uh, <laughs> so that we don't scare ourselves? Wow. Like, this is the best? This is what I read was the best. Come here. Did you realize it's literally limited? Like really limited. Look at look at our um, panda bear. Yeah, it kind of sucks. It doesn't know what a panda bear is. It it does. It does it? Maybe yeah. if we remove that looks like a panda it. to me, but does just like it? really weird. <laughs> look, there's like a turtle. Th I, and there's an owl there too. Like a oh, turtle I thought it, owl. a turtle owl. <laughs> but why? Why I don't know. <laughs> A painting of a fox in the style of Starry Night. You say mountain. That one there is too specific. Okay, when I took out Porcupine, it looks less frightening, but still frightening. Say panda. Say panda. Yeah, but beyond context. Like, if I wanted... So this just looks like it's splashed photos together, right? Like That's just... exactly what it is. So it's not generating photos, it's just... Yeah, I thought it was together. making something really but brilliant. That, no, it but takes that a bunch panda of was really scary, so maybe it's actually piecing together a panda from mm -hmm. different photos. Yeah. I think that's what it's name. Okay, so let's see. What, let's give it something easy. Panda. And I wonder why it's opting for photos, because it originally was opting for a very ugly painting. Well, in my opinion, it was ugly. Very mm -hmm. boring. Gosh, artists are afraid of this taking over. It's gonna, it has a long way to go. Static. Okay, so if we say panda. Yeah, but this is an easy set. Do you, th are these unique images? So basically. Mm -hmm. Don't find this online. <laughs> let's say I wanted to paint a panda, right? And I want something with good lighting and I just can't find anything, any free photos or even maybe if I wanted to pay, right? If I want to pay, then I can yeah. find a good photo of a panda. But let's say I don't want to because it's just in my sketchbook, but I want to make a video out of it and I don't want any copyright issues. So what's the license of this? You're supposed to be able to just use it. Um, really? What I read is the benefit to artists is that you can just use it without worrying about copyright. So you think but, it's constructed this or maybe... I mean, this doesn't look constructed. You know, one of the just things, compared to the one last of the ones. things I read is that a lot of these this AI stuff right now will cause a lot of confidence in wrong thing. Mm. Because you're not really, it's just giving you answers, mm -hmm. but not really telling you how it formed those answers. And if those answers are wrong, then you've got confidence in something that is. Well, just playing around with chat, GPT, my confidence in it is very low. Yeah, but just imagine a lot of people like They don't know. Answers. They don't realize. Mm. Yeah. They don't realize. I mean, but that's the internet. Like, if you're going to go on the internet, you need to understand that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, Google will do that for you, right? Yeah. Because you need to vet your You need to vet your sources. It's personalized, but that's AI. That's Google using AI to understand the person that you are. And it starts giving you information that's more like what you've been searching for or who you are, mm -hmm. which can pigeonhole you into things that are more of your bias. But so, so let's say here, I like this image. If I used it. Well, you said it's generating, so. Yeah, like if it's really generating, then I'm good. Like I could just use it. You know, um, it's such a simple description. And, I, and you know, it, it might be generating. I would say that this looks generated, you know, like the, the something about the oh, lighting is a little off. Mean. Oh, that, that's the one. That that's the one I picked. So this one, it looks like it's flipped it, changed the lighting. Okay, so just, and it's mouth so just put panda with a horse or something. Uh, panda on a horse? Oh, panda on a horse. <laughs> I mean, it's helping me brainstorm. Look, a fortune telling sim... sim Shiba Inu, reading your fate in a giant hamburger, digital art. I think digital art's like, oh wow. Okay, so this is terrifying. <laughs> but like, 
panda on a horse, but this is not this is not a panda on a horse. It's not. It's panda is a horse. <laughs> panda riding a horse. Okay. You're getting confused here. That looks pretty good. So mm -hmm. someone is coming up with really good phrases. Yeah. So maybe we're the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that okay, one has a panda on a horse. Yeah. Panda on a panda. <laughs> Weird, scary panda on a panda. Panda in some sort of medieval gear Why don't you on a panda. From that and then let's see what oh, they, they're all so scary. You have, let's just say you have time to adapt a Mecca's corners who are now going to be fighting this thing. Yeah. Or actually, not fighting it, but adopting it. Yeah. We have to. Yeah, I've got a lot of time as an artist. But I mean, there are people generating some really amazing things. Let's do Surprise Me. It's giving us its best hits. That's uh, not. An oil pastel of an annoyed cat in a spaceship. That sounds mildly interesting. Oil pastel. I mean, see, that's cool. Like that. Look at the lighting on it. So, I mean, this is children's art. I mean, why? <laughs> Did I say it should look like a child, did it? Okay. Did you like Heart of Annoying Cat in Spaceship? That's digital art? Like, no. No. This is not digital art. This That's is not. photos. These are photos of cats. Right. Super important, except that one maybe. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. You don't be safe, Heather. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is so disappointing. <laughs> Artists, your jobs are safe. For now. For now. <laughs> Until next week when this thing gets better. <laughs> I mean, this, this soup thing, a bowl of soup that is also a portal to another dimension. Try this example. I, this is good. So it's just the language. You think? Maybe, yeah, well, I mean, oh, the, soup get portal? Really, really the soup portal looks looked cool, but the, these, these, okay, that one's interesting. That's a UFO. That yeah. one's the coolest. You like that one? That one's the coolest. The original was really nice. I guess it always generates something new. That's interesting. I mean, this one's kind of cool. They're all kind of cool. I have no idea what I would do with this, but. It's the thing I dislike the least out of everything we've looked at today. Liger. Liger? liger? Was it a liger? Yeah, liger. <laughs> must find it. Let's see if it knows Napoleon Dynamite. It has to. It scarred the internet. No. Oh. What? No, it did it, Teddy. Hmm? It did it. No. Yes. Ah. It's a striped lion. What? Kinda. No, I did it. Um, the tigers got really, really. And they're all white. Really distinct stripes. That might just be or whatever. Uh, an albino. Well, they tried. Black mermaid. Digital art. Ocean. If like race is like an issue, that that one looks maybe African. Right, African mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> why asian. yeah asian is is better than black because black can be a color yeah so there's less ambiguity here wow that is terrifying what yeah. is on her face that's terrible she has legs all these mermaids have legs look her tail teddy isn't even connected to the mermaid's body the tail is connected to a rock mm. that's so weird put a historical figure and just say in Abraham Yon Lincoln? Color, in neon colors. Yeah, I mean, that actually looks like art. Um, I don't like what they've done with the eyes. You know what I like when, when artists, you've seen those, those paintings where it's of a face, but they put like an unnatural light as highlights, kind of like a, a blue light is shining mm -hmm. on the person or a purple light, a portrait of Frederick Douglass with, with purple, it's called a spotlight. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, a spotlight is probably going to be something like that, actually. Oh, okay. Then, yeah. Purple with purple mm, reflection on his face. I mean, I don't know. What, what do you call it when you have a color thing? 
when you shine a flashlight of a weird color oh, in someone's okay, face? Okay, okay. I don't know. No, I don't no. think there's a name for that. No. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's some technical They call them park hands in, in the... Park hands? Yeah, no, just a purple spotlight and let's see. Well, spotlight. They might achieve the effect still. Oh, damn it. Oh, you're right. All of them are, um, well, they're all statues. Yeah. And look, it's written words underneath. He has, he has a lot of Look, photos. Teddy, there are words written underneath, but it's like nonsense. Do you see that? It's not a real word. It's not even real letters. No, Teddy. Okay, well, I'm done playing with them. Uh, thank you for doing that with me. It's a painting. <laughs> You're not done, huh? <laughs> painting. Because. Okay. Mm, okay. I mean, I think that's what you meant. It's got a... Let me just my description to yeah. I mean, we got very close. Yeah. I mean, for how bad the other ones were, this one I feel like is really close. So we were a little bit more over underwhelmed than we expected. Or, well, I should speak for myself. I was a little bit underwhelmed. You often seem underwhelmed. <laughs> were, you, yeah. were you underwhelmed by it? Or were you like, oh, this is doing exactly what I thought it would? You know, as I say, I think your job is safe. It's not going to be taken over oh. soon. Um, and uh, it was funny. It was interesting. But this is just the beginning. It's going to get better. Yeah. You know, so. But, like, did you know it was at that level? Did you know that no, this I, was the level? No, I that... expected it to be much better than the way it was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was easy to trick it, you know, yeah. to do weird stuff. Yeah, I, it trick it? I mean, it just didn't seem like it knew what it was doing. I wasn't trying to trick it. Were you trying to trick it? No. After some time, I was, but. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Anyways, thank you all for joining us and tricking AI. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. It does not understand a lot of things, like how scary lions look when you mix them with a snake. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So today's a little bit different because I'm here with Teddy. Hello. Just Hello. Say my name. Hello. <laughs> Are you Medea? <laughs> Hello. Are you? Hello. Okay, I'm gonna say that. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to confuse the robots? Uh, uh, what do you mean? Are you trying to confuse the robots? Your hello, like no. to make it like a little bit awkward and not like yourself. No.